Okay guys, welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to make a miniature wash machine. On the top we put a piece of wood with a one and an eighth inch hole in it that you drop the clothes down through and that's on the back of the top on the inside. This was cut out on a band saw but you can use a coping saw. What I did was split this right here, cut it, and glued it back. But if you have a, a drill and a coping saw, you can take drill a hole and take the coping saw and cut around the inside of it. And you don't have to cut it to make it go together. This top is actually on there with a piece of frosted scotch tape. You can't even see it once it's on there. And if you paint it, you won't be able to tell. Yeah. There you have it, and it works perfectly. Okay, so he basically just showed you how the top is gonna go together with that, and there is a piece that he said that he drilled out right here, that's on the template, and then you will glue that to the back of the top. All right, so the very first step you wanna do is you wanna go to my website, and you wanna download the template for the washer because that's what we're going to be showing you today. And after you do that, then you want to cut out the measurements. The measurements are all based on 112 scale. So um, they're pretty realistic, and they're U.S. sizes. So you're going to have to go by that. But after you have them cut out, then you want to go ahead and start putting it together, and we'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so you want to take the right side and the left side, and you're going to glue it on the edge and you're going to make sure it's even at the top and then on the side. Make the bottom. It will raise up just a little bit on the side on the bottom. Now, I'm using a piece of masking tape to help hold it until it dries. And after you do that, then you want to do the same thing with the left side. You want to use the masking tape for two reasons. One, it helps hold it, and the other one is when you're working with 1 8 inch wood, it tends to warp really easy once you get it wet with the glue. So it kind of helps hold it in place. And it keeps it a little bit from warping on you. Okay, so now it should look kind of like that. And then now you want to take your top readjust that sorry about that okay and then you want to attach your top so in order to attach your top you're gonna need to put the glue on the top of it all right so you want to glue this on to the top make sure you have it square make sure your sides are even with the sides and the back is flat with the back Okay, then you want to glue your front on right here. Well, you may want to put some tape on here. Yeah, you do probably want to put some tape on there, but I'm going to just hurry up and put this on here, and then we'll put the tape on. All right, so then I'm going to set this right in here. I'm going to make sure this is even on the sides here. Wipe off the excess glue and then I'm gonna tape it all together. Make sure it's square too. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the back. And what the back is, is two pieces of wood put together and then we sanded it on an angle. So if you don't have an electric sander, you can kind of hold it on an angle and sand it if you like. But um, you don't have to, you can keep it straight too. For the controls for it, you can use buttons or you can use stick pens or you could even use printouts that you have on the internet as long as they're not copyrighted images. All right, so now I just attach that, that simple, on there. And then once I paint it, you'll never even um, 
be able to tell that it didn't belong. All right, now make sure, again, you attach everything and hold it with the masking tape, and then um, it'll be secure. Okay, so this part's completely optional. You can cut the optional board, and um, we took a regular bottle and we cut it in half to put inside as the basing, and then we war um, painted it. Medicine bottle. And this is the bottom shelf support that's gonna hold that up in place. Then I took two um, large popsicle sticks or like tongue suppressors or something like that and I cut one at the bottom and one at the top. And what you'll do is you'll slide them together like that to make the agitator. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these together and then um, I'm gonna paint them white. Okay, so for this part, um, we're gonna take our container and we're going to hot glue our agitator in there. Just going to put it right there in the center. As close to the center as you can get. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put it up in here. And then I'm going to glue our support piece. This is just a scrap piece of wood that's going to go in here like that and we're going to slide it down in there. Okay, so once you have that set down in there, um, you'll want to apply some glue around the edge just to kind of hold it in place. Just like right along that little edge there. And then it should be fine after that. All right, so for the final part of this, you're going to put some glue here, here, and then on your bottom piece here and here, and then you're going to, so, oop, I just did that backwards. All right, let me start that over. <laughs> here and here, and then here and here. Sorry about that, I had it sideways. Oh, I'm still putting it on backwards. There you go. Now I got it. Oh, I'm having a rough night. <laughs> All right, there you go. So that's the bottom. You want to tape it and hold it in place, wipe off the excess glue, and then when you have it done, that'll be your washer and your dryer. And then there's your agitator and everything in there. You can also sand um, a little notch right here if you like because it'll be easier for you to open up with your fingernail or something if you want to. Okay guys, well that was it for this video. We are still working on some minor things with the dollhouse. We have a little bit more to go. However, if you subscribe below, we will post the images or the videos as we do it so that you can see how the progress goes. Also, if you subscribe, we'll have the tutorials that we'll post as well and you'll be able to see them. And we plan on making some furniture and a few other DIYs, so you don't want to miss that. And also, if you go on our Facebook page under Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials, you will be able to find lots and lots of pictures of everything that we've done along with a few other things and then you know you can comment there or you can comment below if you have any questions you're more than welcome to leave them and we will get to them as soon as we can but other than that we're going to continue working on this miniature madness because we're having a ball and thanks for watching and have a great day